Nissan Juke 2010 2018 years of release. Today, if you're wondering is it worth buying Nissan Juke and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So the interior details creak even on new cars. The orchestra of Salon Crickets plays their symphony especially loudly in winter. Another problem is the low quality of finishing materials. The fabric of the armrest is rubbed off, the painted plastic is peeled off, the trim of the steering wheel and gear lever is peeled off. So even with a relatively low mileage, the Nissan Juke's interior may not look so tidy. For example, restoration of armchairs is often required already at 60,000 km. It's impossible to solve the problem of fragile dampers, which one day will stop switching modes of the air conditioning system. It's a pity, since new parts cost a lot of money and it's useless to revive the old ones. It's not surprising that working Nissan stoves on dismantling find their buyers very quickly. The most massive juke unit is the naturally aspirated 1.6 liter HR16DE engine. Before overhaul, the engine nurses a record 300-400 thousand kilometers by modern standards. At the same time, the craftsmen have long mastered the liner procedure for this engine, so it's not at all necessary to buy a new aluminum cylinder block. This series of motors turned out to be very successful in general. The timing chain drive doesn't need to be changed for years. The chain takes care of 250-300 thousand kilometers. In the valve mechanism, the clearances are regulated not by capricious hydraulic lifters, but by ordinary pushers. It's recommended to pick up new ones every 80-100 thousand kilometers. However, specifically for the Juke, the proven atmospheric, which has earned a good reputation on many Renault Nissan models, suddenly distinguished itself with an unpleasant feature. In frosty weather, when driving for a long time at high speed, the car first loses its agility and then completely stalls. The reason lies in the freezing throttle assembly. Apparently, this is not the fault of the optimal aerodynamics of the engine compartment. The shape of the rear support of the power unit was also not optimal. This element usually gives up without waiting for 70,000 km, from which wandering vibrations begin to run through the body. If the Nissan Juke was operated exclusively in urban areas, then this is definitely a bad sign. Piston rings can become jammed from constant driving at low revs, as a result increased oil consumption and early failure of the catalytic converter. The accessory drive belt has a habit of whistling, and the exhaust pipe gasket will burn out. With a turbo engine, the Nissan Juke is real lighter. This version accounts for only 15% of the total number of vehicles sold. Opinions about this motor are diametrically opposite. True, as usual, somewhere in between. Until 2012, the engine really suffered from a mass of childhood illnesses. As soon as it appeared, the engine immediately underwent a revocable company to replace the intake manifold and the fuel lever sensor gasket. More importantly, Nissan has acknowledged an inherent weakness in the timing chain. Initially, it could break after 50,000 km. With reinforced chains, this will no longer be the case. But the system for removing crankcase gases, which it seems was also being finalized despite the promise of engineers, remained unsuccessful. In winter, the crankcase ventilation line freezes, which provokes oil leaks through gaskets, oil seals and even the neck of the dipstick. There are no complaints about the endurance of the piston group and the turbocharger, but the direct injection system loves only high-quality fuel. And don't forget that iridium spark plugs need to be replaced every 30,000 km. With proper care, the 190 horsepower version will last long enough and if the previous owner paid for the timely replacement of consumables and was distinguished by a measured driving style, the turbocharged Juke would be a good purchase. Hence the advice, you cannot buy such a Nissan without a service book. Manual transmissions won't be a hassle. Mechanics comes not only with atmospheric but also with a turbocharged version. The clutch lives for about 100,000 km and changing the oil in the box after 90,000 will help get rid of the noise of the input shaft bearing, if it has already appeared. Of the automatic transmissions, only the Jatco CVT was offered for the Juke. For powerful all-wheel drive vehicles, this is an old GF011 series unit that can withstand up to 200,000 km. Everyone else has the relatively new JF015. It's a pity that the cost of overhaul of the variator is very high. In this case, it's easier and more profitable to replace the entire assembly. The GF015 box was at first extremely notorious. For crossovers of the first years of production, serious repairs of the transmission could be required after 20-30 thousand kilometers. Gradually, the engineers of the Japanese company brought the service life up to 100 thousand kilometers. However, in order to step over this mark, it's necessary to monitor the cleanliness of the heat exchanger and avoid a drop start. 
In addition, the juke with the variator is contraindicated in the sold on high curbs. It's believed that the most successful JATCO CVTs began to be installed on the crossover after 2017. They can withstand up to 250,000 km, but such durability is possible only with the regular replacement of the working fluid. This will have to be done every 70,000 km. The chassis cannot be called unconditionally reliable. The weakest point is short-lived thrust bearings, which begin to crackle after 50,000 km. Another obvious engineering miscalculation is the delicate silent blocks in the front subframe bushings. They are enough for a maximum of 80,000 km. A torn rubber metal hinge will give itself away with extraneous vibrations and dull knocks. It's better not to go to a branded service to eliminate this malfunction since the Nissan offers in this case to change the entire subframe as a whole. But private traders have been successfully replacing bushings for a long time, installing spare parts from Qashqai. The bushings of the front levers do not differ in durability either. In this case, the Japanese brand again offers to seriously spend money by buying a new lever. It's also proposed to act in case of failure of the officially non-removable ball joint. The service life of suspension parts is approximately as follows. Silent blocks from 50 to 90,000 km, shock absorbers serve about 100,000 km. Of course, outside the company service, the suppers and hinges can be replaced separately from the lever. The all-wheel drive versions with will have a multi-link rear suspension. Its creators tried to make it so that up to 150,000 km it didn't require attention to itself. The front-wheel drive versions will have a semi-independent beam, which turned out to be even more reliable. Squeak when turning the steering wheel is a trademark of many Nissan models. Unfortunately, replacing the steering shaft seal doesn't help for long. Silence can only be guaranteed by regular rubber treatment with silicon grease. An unreliable steering shaft cross piece will have to be added to the list of Nissan diseases. Another frankly unpleasant problem is the short-lived master cylinder of the brake system. The problem has not been resolved to this day. Assembling the brake's master cylinder costs a lot of money, but on fresh copies, dealers change the unit under warranty, admitting that this is one of the problems of this model. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.